hello it is Jay and on today's weekly episode I am going to share with you five amazing wonderful TV uh, events that you can participate in right now while you are uh, COVID-19 sheltering in place and stick around because at the end of the video I'm going to share with you my number one recommendation such a fantastic viewing experience you're going to thank me you're going to thank me. All right, everybody. Hey, it's Jay, uh, Nomad Jay. You can find me at nomadjay.com. And uh, I do this once a week. And uh, I don't know about you, but it's getting a little old being sheltered in place. I made some podcast episodes today, and I was sharing that um, I'm starting to kind of see a little bit of, of light at the end of the you know at the tunnel I'm feeling like I can actually get on an airplane in July do you think that's wishful thinking what do you think I want to get on an airplane and go to Thailand and then I want to go to the Maldives do you think that can happen in July is that too soon I don't know I'm kind of thinking maybe that's a real that could happen they say that the uh, thing might might not be as strong uh, when the wet, weather's warm and if I go to a warm place, I should be okay. So here, here's hoping. But anyway, let's get into it. Number one, oh my gosh, Killing Eve, Killing Eve. If you have not discovered this show, what have you been doing? We are now in the third season. Uh, Killing Eve is about a uh, uh, beautiful, quirky female assassin. It takes place in Europe. You get to see lots of European locations. Sandra O oh plays a government official who's uh, in, in hot pursuit, but they also have this uh, interesting connection, attraction, relationship uh, between two women. It's fascinating, fascinating show, really good. And if you like the violent uh, violence, it, it's got that for sure because she is uh, a, a brutal, ruthless assassin. Killing Eve on BBC, check it out. It's in the third season right now. Number two, Survivor. Survivor, it's got maybe like three or four more episodes in the current season. It's really good. I don't miss Survivor. I love it. Um, you know what I like about it? It's like it's real. Um, it's how do you convince somebody? How do you talk to somebody and convince them to be loyal to you? I find it fascinating. What do you, how do you appeal to somebody to leave their alliance and come to your side? What do you offer them? It's fascinating. Uh, and, and I just thoroughly intrigued and I love every Wednesday night when I got to which watch Survivor. Number three, oh my gosh, on ESPN, The Last Dance. This is a 10-part, a 10 10-part, uh, 10, 10 one-hour episodes. They're up to number four about Michael Jordan's last season in Chicago. The last run they made where they, where they won the sixth and final of their world championship titles. And they had un, unbelievable access um, so there's interviews with Michael Jordan, with Phil Jackson. If you're a sports fan, you know Michael Jordan. I mean, some just some great footage, and they're just going through each of the each of the seasons, and they're talking about Dennis Rodman and Scottie Pippen and and Phil Jackson and and uh, the management and all of the all of the drama, and it's just spread out beautifully over ten episodes. And so far, we've seen four of them. And if you're a Jordan fan or a basketball fan or just a sports fan, you're going to totally dig it. Okay. Number four happened last night. Oh, be still my heart. Homeland, the series finale. Eight glorious seasons. Close to being the GOAT, the greatest of all time. This has been such a powerful uh, series. Homeland, uh, over eight seasons. If you have not watched Homeland, man, you're going to thank me for this too because you get eight glorious seasons to go through. It is intelligence. It is smart. It is about world events. And uh, it is thrilling. And uh, the main character, uh, Carrie Matheson, played by Claire Danes, fantastic. Manny Patinkin uh, plays Saul. And uh, it's just, it's great. It's just, it's, it's my number two series of all time, right behind uh, The Sopranos. Check out Homeland. And the best thing on TV right now, um, and I can't call it the greatest of all time because there's only been three seasons of it, but it's called Better Things definitely check out Better Things. Oh, it'll just warm your heart. It's about a single mom uh, play, 
played by um, Pam Adlon. And uh, she's fantastic. She is so good. And she has three daughters and she lives in a, in a house with her kids and they're growing up and you know she dates a little and she's kind of on men off men she has a bunch of girlfriends that come around and come together and that's really some of the best stuff and this season they had uh this wonderful episode in new orleans and it was a wedding and as we're sitting here by ourselves unable to go socialize it was so fantastic to just uh, bathe in this you know connection the people being together and holding each other and dancing and drinking and socializing it's fantastic and uh, I believe um, this week is the finale for the third the third of the fourth season um, it's great so if you have not started watching better things um, you can get it on Hulu and um, I believe it's also on regular TV I'm not sure what channel but I catch it on Hulu and um, it's so good better things you'll thank me for that too five really amazing things you can watch on tv better things is so good check it out all right okay that's it that's it for today that's it for this week i hope you have a great week out there uh sheltering in place and uh be safe be safe social distance wash your hands keep your hands clean don't be touching your face you know what i didn't touch my face once throughout this whole thing all right you have a great day bye bye for now Thank you.